But I feel like I should give you guys the the the, the rundown, the lowdown of what happened. Cause it's kinda the information's kinda been like spread around a bit a little bit everywhere. So basically, what happened is I was playing World of Warships, right? I was doing the you have to do some prep work before you can actually like stream it, right? So I was doing that and my computer crashes. I boot the game back up again. Boot my computer back up again. Computer crashes again, okay? Computer fucking dies. Permanently. I can turn it back on, but it's stuck on a black screen. Not the game's fault. It was Skytech's fault. Fuck you, Skytech. You're one of the worst fucking companies in the world. Fuck you, bitch. Artisan builds ass motherfucker. Fuck you, Skytech. Fuck you. Anyways, so I had to get that out of my system. My computer. I have it diagnosed. Over the course of a few days, swap out some different parts. First thought, oh, it's the motherboard. No, it wasn't the motherboard. Oh, I forgot. This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be family friendly. I'll cut this part out of the wad. Hard to complain while well, I'm supposed to be family friendly. <laughs> Oops. Anyways, the game's not on screen yet. The game's not on screen yet. Don't worry about it. I'm not even five minutes in. I'm, I'm, I'm ruining everything. We'll get to the game in a little bit. I need to, I need to, I need to discuss this. Turns out, there, were, there was a plethora of things wrong with the computer chat. There was a plethora. The motherboard, the motherboard was fine and stuff. Everything else was, was pretty much fine. The problem was, I have a whole list. I have a whole list. It, it stems from the GPU. It stems from the G... Where did I put the list? Where did I put the freaking list? Oh my god. This is, this is probably my last sponsorship stream. <laughs> I don't know if I like doing sponsorships. I feel like I gotta. I feel like I gotta control myself too much. Um. Oh my God. Where did I send the list? I think I sent it to Sakuna. Hold on. Sakuna's in chat. Sakuna, did I send it to you? I think I did. I did. Okay. Here's the list. Here's the list of everything that was wrong with my PC tent. The CPU cooler was loose. There were loose motherboard screws. There was a motherboard screw missing. The SSD SATA cable was cracked and unplugged. The RTX 3080 Ti was plugged into one power rail with a jumper, VGA1, which eventually caused the system to fail. Did VGA1 rail on the power supply from installation error of the GPU? Loose connections on the PSU? Plastic was left on components that heat up, including under the M2 socket? Case fan connectors all ran to a static point with jumpers unable to regulate fan speeds. Uh, BioS was all default options, didn't have XMP enabled or any other performance features to make use of the higher end hardware. Your list is on my list. Shut up. Who built that? SkyTech! SkyTech Gaming! So, yeah. So then, I emailed the company. I don't hear anything back. I don't hear anything back. Call the company. Three days later, after not hearing back after three days, call the company. Right? Call ends. Thinking, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this resolved. This is good. We've got, we got the starting point. No! No! They do not respond back or anything after the call. So, call in again. Troubleshoot. They acknowledge the issues. Okay? The guy, I'm not gonna say his name, goes to the manager. And the manager gives approval for expedited shipping of a replacement part. Okay? I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize that I actually did. I, I got confused. I thought there was no expedited shipping. There was supposed to be expedited shipping. I place a deposit for $950 so that they will send me the new GPU before I can send in my old GPU, right? So the deal is basically I will send them my GPU, but in the meantime, I need my GPU. I need a new GPU back as fast as possible. So just send me one. I have, I will pay the deposit. You pay me the deposit back when I send in my GPU, right? So they're like, okay, yeah, sounds good. We're gonna, we're gonna get this out to you immediately. We're gonna ship this out to you immediately. Expedited shipping. They told me, so that was on the 20th. 21st. That was on the 21st. Then they tell me, uh, uh, they said that would be out there on Monday. That'd be there on Monday. So I think that, well, hold on. From the 21st, that is three days. So I have to wait three days for my GPU, right? I'm like, okay, you know what? That's fine. It's like the weekend anyways. This is dragging out way longer than it should have. This is dragging out way longer than it should have, but I can wait three more days. All right. <laughs> At least they fixed it. They didn't. They didn't fix it. They have not fixed it. Wait for the store to end, Nabiles. Three days for the new GPU. At the latest, they say, at the latest, but it should get there even earlier because it's expedited shipping, right? Monday comes, Monday goes. I don't have a tracking number, so I'm just kind of like, well, you know, maybe there was like a little delay in shipping, you know? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions or anything. I like to generally give people the benefit of the doubt. Oh, what a mistake that is! Call back in on the 26th, and they tell me, hey, we shipped it out yesterday. Why haven't you shipped it out yesterday? You said you would... You said that's a day after you said I would receive it! That is a day! Call. Call. I call. I call. Ring, 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 ring. 26. GPU's supposed to be the 
their 24th. They told me they shipped it out 25th. Hello? Hello? Is this that complicated? So, then they tell me it won't arrive until Friday. They tell me it won't arrive until Friday. <laughs> so Friday comes. And I'm sitting there and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the final delivery truck. I know what time they come at. I'm sitting there waiting. And it's 30 minutes till like the final delivery could even possibly be because I know that they stop running after this certain time. And I'm sitting there like... It's not coming. <laughs> It's it's not coming, and I have a I have a stream in a little bit here. I have a, I have a stream coming up, and everything's about to close in like an hour. I call up call up the shipping facility. Hey, what's going on with my package? Sorry, it's delayed. Excuse me? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I called them up. They say they say sorry, your your package has been delayed. It's at the it's at the shipping facility. Okay, can I come pick it up? No, it's on transit. You can't, you can't pick it up. It's on transit. I'm sorry. When will it be here? Monday. Monday? Yeah. I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so done with this chat. I am so done with this. I am so done with SkyTech and with the Postal Service, but I'm not going to say anything bad about the Postal Service because I'm already on a list. But SkyTech, you suck. And I feel, I feel so vindicated. I feel so vindicated because this, there's a huge YouTube channel called Gamers Nexus. Just did a video on them. And I actually, I'm going to probably do another stream. We're going to do a react content stream chat. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to soak it in. I'm going to spread the good word about how dog poo poo Sky Tech is. I just want everyone to know. As a bunch of people as possible, I'm going to use all the clickbait possible. I want the word out there. Sky Tech, you suck. You're garbage. You have made no effort to help me in this. No effort. It's just, it's so baffling. It's so, it's so baffling. I thought maybe, I thought maybe like their, their, their Twitter people were gonna like give me a hand or something. Because when the gamer, the, when Gamers Nexus a couple days ago made a video roasting them, right? Completely destroying them for being terrible at building computers. They made like this little Twitter apology post where they're like, We are so sorry to everybody in the community who we have hurt and we have let down. Oh my god, I am so sorry. And I, I, I responded to that and I was like, Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, you guys suck, dude. Okay, I was, I was a bit nicer than that, but I, was, I wasn't that nice. I was pretty passive aggressive. And they were like, We will reach out to you over DMs. And I was like, Oh, is something gonna get done here? Is something... Oh, progress? And so they're like, Hi, what is your order number? Also, follow-up question, what is your case number? And they can't wait 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, they, they ping me. They ping me. I was getting consent from management to share that because, the, like, my, my address and stuff is on there, so... So I respond, I'm like, hey there, I appreciate you following up. And then I get approval from, uh, approval from management, and I'm like, here's my order number. And I was like, yeah, I just got a call back, actually, while I was waiting for uh, management. Because, like, I was on the phone even before all this stuff was happening. They had, they had a super long wait on their phone. I think, I, I think their phone lines are getting, I don't know, either bombarded by people trolling because of Gamers Nexus or people like, maybe there's just really that many people having issues. I don't know. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a full-time streamer, you know, like not having my computer, like I'm, I'm kind of, you know, this is my livelihood here, you know, I kind of, hello, hello. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to be like that person, like, especially not to the social media people, right? I'm not going to be like, you piece of dog poo poo, frick you, I will dance on your grave and then spit on your mother. You know, I, it's just the social media person. They're not like actually in control of anything, but I was like, yeah, I'm, I mean, like, I'd, I'd, I'd like something here. You advertise yourself to gamers and streamers. You have a Twitch channel and stuff. Are you going to actually help? Are you actually going to do anything? Like, we are so sorry for the inaccurate. Well, we are so sorry for the inaccurate response. I'll work with the team to see what the miscommunication happened. I'm glad at least they were able to show you that we did ship it. You better have shipped it. I paid money for that. We 
are sorry this is taking longer than expected and striving to make this process quicker. If you have any more questions for us, please don't hesitate to ask. That's it? That's, that's it? That's it? Well, thanks, I guess. Yeah, I got default replied. Thanks. God, you guys suck. God, you guys are so insufferable. Holy... You can't treat a 4 view like this. I'm not even a 4 view. And the point is not necessarily that, like... I don't want it to be like, I have numbers and I'm gonna bully you. Now it kind of is. Now it's like, I want to spread the word as much as possible that you guys suck. But before it was like, you know, I mean... Regardless of being a streamer, it's, it's somebody's livelihood depends on this. And you guys are taking your sweet time lying to me. Not providing me with a tracking number, taking forever, not responding to me at all in the beginning. I had to hound you guys to get a freaking response. Do, do you not care about your customer base at all? Like, to any? To any capacity? Any capacity at all? Like, I get that accidents happen, you know? Oh, well, you know, we forgot to give you the tracking number or, you know, something happened and we weren't able to ship it out. I can understand these things. I'm not... I'm not trying to be like, oh, you guys freaking suck. Blah, 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 blah. But you don't communicate. You lie. There is no... There... There... It's just... It's just no... There's not even an attempt on your guys' part! There's not even an attempt! It's baffling! I was hoping, like, maybe... You know, I like compensation, all right? If they were like, oh, yeah, hi. You know, we saw your post. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, could we offer you possibly, like, a, uh, 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 an upgraded GPU or something for all the trouble? For all the money that you are losing? For all the time that you are having wasted? For all of the incompetent people that you are dealing with despite our stuff having? to find out where the miscommunication error occurred, but also we are not going to get back to you on where the miscommunication error occurred. We do not actually care. We, uh, we responded to your tweet saying, oh, please DM us to make it look like we were going to get something done, you know, make, make, make some sort of amends, but, ah. Uh... I'm losing my mind. One awful company. They don't know I'm a VTuber. Man, I wonder if that works, man. I wonder if that works. Maybe I should pull that card. You know, I think at this point, I'd be just about, if I went to their DMs and I'm like, do you want another video about you? I don't have the same reach that Gamers Nexus has, but God! Maybe I should go carrying on them! I'm sick of this! The thing that really tipped the scales wasn't even their fault. It was the shipping thing. The, the, the fact that, like, the shipping... The fact that the shipping then happened on top of that, to have issues with the company, and then on top of that, to have the freaking GPU shipment delayed, it's like, God. Isn't the shipping their fault, too? It was the fault, their fault the first time. I don't think it's their fault this time. Unless I find something else out. I might... Who knows? Who knows, actually? I might find something else out. I might actually check the... Uh, I might actually get the GPU and check it out and be like, Oh, it wasn't expedited. That was the problem all along. Who knows? Who knows? And it drives me insane, chat. People are like, Why didn't you just go buy another GPU? Why don't you just go buy another computer? I don't know, because setting up another computer is a freaking nightmare. And then getting another GPU. All right, first of all, there's like never any good GPUs in stock anywhere. I don't know. I actually did go out to look for a potential new GPU. They did not have any in stock. But, but yesterday, was it yesterday when I, when I went in to go try to buy a GPU, just to get, just get something in my computer just so I could do something? They had 4090s in stock. They, they had 4090s in stock. So I, I, I picked up a 4090 and I picked up a, um, 3060 Ti. So not only did they have what I needed, but they also had something super cool in stock. I'm probably not gonna put it in my computer anytime soon. I might flip it. I don't know. We'll see. She's not remembering times correctly. I'm not. How much was it? $1,600? And a fire extinguisher. Yeah, I need to get... I need to get a built-in fire extinguisher right next to my computer. I'll, just, I'll put a fire alarm and an automatic fire extinguisher right there. I don't want to be that person, but on the other hand, I do want results. And I am not above letting go of my dignity a little bit just to get some results here. Either, either they're sending me that freaking GPU or I'm getting my $960 back. And so many people, I get so tired of hearing this as well. People are like, Pippa, why didn't you just make a computer, Pippa? Just build one. I don't know, because there was a GPU shortage. And if I could, I, I could either make the choice. I could buy a GPU for the price of a brand new computer with how bad the scalping prices were, or I could just buy an entire computer. 
I'd rather just buy the entire computer at that point. It's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth spending four times the price of a single part just so I can then build it. Second thing, come with just have a better computer. Shut up! Tomorrow's name for ten dollars. Now imagine if you had put five percent of this effort into just building your own computer. Did we learn a lesson? <gasps> Everybody, everybody, make sure to sub like, comment, and subscribe to low low effort clips. That's right, low effort clips right here on YouTube.com. Yeah, and hit the notification bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah.